talk is done. It is simply time to fight. How can Hagler have success tonight against this counterpuncher, Teddy? Well, first of all, we're thinking about the counterpuncher, you know, that style that gives problems. Don't forget about Hagler. First of all, he's very versatile. He can go get you. He can make you come to him. He can box. And he's just out for him. You know, he has that dimension where the counterpuncher is not going to be so comfortable in those confines, you know, with a southpaw in front of him like he normally is with an orthodox fighter. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. His mark there going upstairs. And a good solid one two combo by Pernell Whitaker. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Hagler's got to find a way to land more of these punches. It's okay to throw punches, but not if they're just drifting off to space. Absolutely, and space is it. He's in space. He's too far away. He has to get the right range. Stand it straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body more. Here we go. Round two is underway. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Marvelous Marvin blocks that away. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. It was April of 1985 when Marvin Hagler was able to TKO Tommy Hearns in one of the great action fights in the history of the sport. In many ways, did that encapsulate his entire career, that one shining moment? Well, in a lot of ways it did because he was a fighter who never felt appreciated. You know. He understood where he came from. He went out there and took chances, he felt, with everybody. All these tough Philadelphia fighters that nobody else would fight. He fought everybody to work his way up. And he looked at other fighters, whether it was Hearns or Sugar Ray Leonard, and these guys he felt would navigate it. He felt that they would... Oh, that's a big shot with the left hand. What a big shot on the mark. Beautifully shot, straight punch right on the mark. Like an arrow and not shot by Cupid. Whitaker's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. Nice one-two by Marvin Hagler. A headshot blocked. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. And that's the end of round two. Marvin Hagler's in control of things in his mind right now. Just look at that attitude over in the corner. You can tell 
they want a repeat performance of that knockdown round they just had. Whitaker's in a tough spot here. 60 seconds, that's all you get to gather yourself after being knocked down. Good block by Sweet Pea. Excellent one-two by Pernell Whitaker. This is what boxing's about. This is what. Pernell Whitaker so dangerous with that accuracy. A two punch combination landing. Watch that! Marvin Hagler's not coming up with the results that you would want to see out of him. Now, he's trying to counterpunch Teddy, but it doesn't seem to be the answer. No, he kind of looks a little bit like that guy who went in to get his hair dyed, you know? And he thought, he thought it was going to be just a little bit lighter, and it wound up being a lot lighter. And he said, wow, what the heck did I do? I didn't think I was going to look like this. I didn't think that I was going to box like this. Two-punch combo by Pernell Whitaker. Committing now to the left hand. Good straight shot. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Great work offensively landing that combination by Pernell Whitaker. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by marvelous Marvin Hagler. Marvin Hagler is coming off another close and competitive round. But still, Teddy, I think he's slightly down on the scorecard. Yeah, the key is not what you think, Joe, even though I love what you think. But the key is what he thinks. He has to know that. It's very important for him. And a lot of times...
That takes some guts. Keep working the body. A striking combination by Pernell Whitaker. Sweep P with a sweep. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Forget about the judges. This one may be over now. Hagler's down, and he looks like he's in bad shape. When you fall that way, you usually don't get up. Seven. So Hagler is able to beat the count, but Teddy, this is a spot that he's not used to being in. Solid. Oh, that's a big shot. Marvin Hagler's hurt. He's down and hurt. Can he beat the count? Right now, he's thinking about another line of employment. Six, seven, eight. 